What's up everyone, this is Mitchell, here with another logic tutorial. Um, I have been trying to figure out how to work ScreenFlow, that's why I haven't gotten this up earlier. I updated um, my computer to OSX Lion, which by the way is badass. Check this out. You can zoom over, this is like your dashboard, and you can go up, like four fingers up on your trackpad. And then you can do your dashboard and your desktop. Dude, sick. I might even make another video over it. But for what it's worth, ScreenFlow or yeah, ScreenFlow did not work with Lion, so I had to update it and get all this crap done. So that's why this is taking a little bit longer. And sorry about the glare. Um it's dark outside, so I need my light on. Yeah. Um so Let's get into what you're watching this video for. Uh, dubstep. Advanced dubstep stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is going to be a little bit different from uh, my other tutorials. Um, my other tutorials, what I do is I create from the ground up what I am teaching. And in doing so, you will learn how to, I don't know, do whatever it is. Um, in this one, I made a pre-made song earlier today, and I'm going to pick this apart and show you how to do it. That's what's going to be a little bit different. So, first, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play this for you. Just take it all in. Just take it all in. And then we'll go through it. So, here you go. There we go. That's it. Sick, right? Sick. Um, let's just uh, pick this part by part. First track up here is going to be my drums. Everything except my kick. And why I did it this way was because I want to do a couple special things with this kick drum. Okay. Uh, first of all, I EQ'd it crazy. I'm going to have a bunch of bass. Get up that low end take out some of the mid, and get some more high in there. I could probably even take down that high a little bit. That's really not needed too much. But, uh, yeah, there you go. Um, compress it a little bit, and then check this out. I added a little bit of sub-bass. Um, this is a plugin that I haven't really seen too many do people do even um, tutorials about or talk about at all. Um, I think it's really cool. So let me just explain a little bit, a very tiny bit, of what this is. First of all, there here is one. Um, this is going to take this frequency right here. You can change the bandwidth of it. You can change the center of it. And you can change the ratio, as in how many uh, waves. So it's going to be uh, stereo. Um, what a, what a, I have my center up a little bit. Okay, um, so what this is going to do is it's going to um, amplify this part of the, of the um, dry mix or dry signal that I'm giving it. In this case, it's going to be my kick. And this bottom one's going to take this part and amplify this a little bit. These two combine, combined with this frequency mix is what is going to be my wet signal. My dry signal is going to be my straight kick. Now you're going to want to mix the dry and the wet together to get a perfect blend between kick and like this subby, awesome, incredible madness. You know what I'm saying? You want to keep this wet signal down just a little bit. If you get this really high, um, you're going to start clipping a lot and you'll be forced to take the volume of the channel down. And you don't want to do that because you kind of want that kick jamming in your mix. Um, uh, not e not only in this, but not only in these two bandwidths, but uh, more upper range also. So uh, keep the wet down a little bit, 
and keep the dry up, keep it rocking. Um, there's a little bit of how I did the sub bass. That's going to uh, fatten up that kick. Uh, for techno, I mean, you can do this um, not even in dubstep, but in just in regular te techno also. Take that for what it's worth. Use it as much as you want. It's all. It's all I care about. Uh, transition one, dubstep one, and transition two are all going to be um, related to each other. So uh, here we go. Transition one is going to sound like this. Oh, oh, what the heck was that, right? All right, I will show you. ES2 here. Um, if you haven't seen my first Logic tutorial over just the basics of how to do this, um, I would suggest going and watching that and then jumping back to here. These are going to be very near to the settings that I did in that tutorial. Um, a couple things that are going to be different is this pitch right here and um, this wave down here that I chose is going to be a little bit different. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select uh, pitch 2 from the uh, I don't know, different settings and what this is going to do is change the pitch of the second synthesizer in here and not the first one. There is an option to change pitch 1, 2, and 3 to combined but I'm just going to stick with pitch 2. That's going to be the more high end, that's probably what you're going to hear more instead of that bass. I'm going to send it to envelope 2 which is down here. And there's three settings here, poly, mono, and retrig. I'm going to go over retrig and mono in this tutorial. Um, poly is going to be a little bit different. You can mess with that on your own time. Uh, it's just going to be make this tutorial a little bit longer and unnecessary. Uh, so, retrig, as you can see, I'm going to be messing with this time uh, dial here. Um, bottom is short and top is long. So if I move this dial up, which I'm not going to do it right now because I have it set perfectly and I don't want to mess it up. But if you move it up, it's going to take a lock. Uh, it's going to take longer to increase that. Uh, to increase it, so it's going to it's going to increase at a slower rate. The time is going to be longer. It's going to be slower. Um, if you move it down, it's going to increase quickly over a shorter amount of time. If that makes sense. So there you are. Oh, oh lion, oh lion. What are you doing? <laughs> um, so that is going to be trans my transition one. Um, why it's not dubstepy is because I changed the wave down here to this uh, square wave, and that's going to uh, lose the dubstep, but keep um, all the elements of it. Uh, so that is going to be that setting. And to make my dubstep one, all I did was change it back up here. It's going to sound like this. There you go. That's my dubstep one setting. So I'm going to change this back, get out of here, and show you what dubstep one sounds like. There you are. That's going to be the exact transition one and dubstep one are the exact same thing, except the different waves. Now, transition two, what I did for this was um, in this last part of the song, here I'll, I'll you play it. Transition one is going to increase and then drop down to a single pitch. And I wanted to keep that single pitch without having it go up in pitch at the beginning, if that makes any sense. Here, I'll show you. And it's going to drop down right there. And that fat, bassy tone is exactly what I wanted in this transition, too. I didn't want that pitch change. Okay, and all I did for that, simple enough, was take off the pitch. So, if, I mean simple okay and let's go down to this transition three alright I'm gonna show you this guys this is secret don't be telling everyone this this is something I came up with so you can use it it's fine because I love you but don't be showing everybody this is sick stuff okay so what I did was this is going to be an orchestral and percussion in my orchestra kit um, yeah, you're going to be like, well, why would you want an orchestra kit? Well, what orchestra kit has is like a, a symbol. It's just going to be like a constant symbol. And I'll show you that. Uh, second, second, second. It's like a, like a big China symbol or something. I don't, I don't know. 
Um, but what I'm going to do to it is I'm going to put a little bit of bit crusher on it to give it a little bit more static, sound a little bit more techno-y. And all I did was increase the volume, and you have a, a, tr a great transition. And it's it's great for any techno song, any techno song literally, um, that you just want to flow into something new. And as you can see here, this first part is going to, I can say this is my intro, and this is going to be the middle of my song, and it's going to transition into the middle part of my song. Um, this is, that it, it's great. Use it. But don't tell anybody. I'm serious. All right. Dubstep one we've already been over. Dubstep two is very similar. And as what I'm going to be doing, the whole point of my dubstep two is going to fatten up my dubstep one for the main part of my song, make it bigger. That's exactly what you want in a dubstep song: is that big, fat dubstep tone. Um, and all I did was um, copy. Uh, this ES2 from uh, dub, Dubstep 1 down here, and all I changed was this dial right here from glass 3 to glass 2. Simple enough. That's all I did, and it's going to sound a little bit different, and it's going to make it sound a little bit more full, as you see here. Uh, here's just the straight Dubstep. It's going to sound a little bit different than Dubstep 1, but as you can see, when I put them together, it's going to make it a little bit more, a little bit fatter and a little bit better. There we go. Sometimes uh, it messes up, but you just have to play it over again. So, uh, yeah, there you go. It's going to be a little bit fatter and a little bit better. Um, if you want to make it even um, a little bit bigger, I guess you can say. Uh, Pan your dubstep one to your left ear, and dubstep two to the uh, two to the right ear, and turn those mothers up. You can turn them up really far when you pan them like that, and that's gonna give you a very nice, um, full, loud dubstep. Um, so there you go. There's a couple little tricks. That's how some of the bigger dubstep DJs get such a fat dubstep tone. Um, so there you go. There's a little trick there. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is, in my dubstep 4 is going to be my main uh, secondary dubstep, I guess you could say. And then my dubstep 3 is going to be uh, fattening it up a little bit, like 1 and 2 does. So dubstep 4, all it is is going to be a soft 4 down here instead of any glass setting. And I'm not going to have any uh, pitch shifting on it. So let me show you what it sounds like. Get rid of these two. It's going to change the time of the wobble. And how I did that was I opened up, um, opened up, and to get to this LFO2 rate, which is the thing in the ES2 that changes the uh, the timing of the uh, the wobbles. Um, I just clicked it, went to ES2 LFOs and LFO2 rate, and that's exactly what you want. And then, if I zoom in here, um, all I did was escape um, marquee tool, and then just highlight the second half of this, and went back to my pointer tool and dragged it down to one eighth from one sixteenth, and then copied this and pasted it multiple times over this whole thing. And what it's going to sound like is ba 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 ba. So it's going to go fast for like the first two beats, I guess you could say, and then our first beat, and then it's going to slow down um, for the last two. And it's going to sound exactly like what I showed you before. And then my dubstep three, like dubstep one and two, is going to be the exact same settings. Only thing I'm going to be changing here is this dial. Instead of, oh, what did I have, saw four or something? I'm going to have it at this setting up here, like the regular saw, I guess you could say, the main one. So, uh, yeah, there you go. And that's going to sound a little bit different and give it a little bit more bass, a little bit more mid, and it'll, it'll fatten it up. And so here are those two together. Um, so, yeah, there you go. That's what that's going to be like. And I'm going to spend a little bit more longer on the dubstep 5 because this one is a little bit different. I'll play it for you here. What was that? 
I was awesome. Yeah, I know. That's what you're telling yourself. I'll show you how to make that. To descend in pitch instead of ascend, um, a good setting is going to be this mono right here. And at the very bottom, like you see here, it's going to decrease. In the middle, it's going to increase and then decrease. And at the top, it's just going to increase. It's going to ascend. So here, I'll show you. Ascending. Middle. Ascending. Descending. At the bottom. Descending. There you are. That's going to be the mono setting that I promised I would show you. Um, so there you are. And over here, I'm going to have this wave selected, this other square wave, which um, instead of this one is going to make a still that dubstep song or uh, sound. Um, I'm going to go up here and show you a regular wave and then what this um, does to it. So here's the regular one. That's going to be the traditional um, uh, dubstep sound, I guess you could say. And this is going to, and as you can see, the square wave, it's going to be, um, it's going to be full volume and it's going to cut off. Full volume, cut off. Instead of that, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. It was terrible, but you, and hopefully you understand now what that means. And together, all these parts make dubstep heaven. Yeah, that's all. Um, you can, uh, definitely, uh, just mess with the settings, um, uh, if you have any, uh, suggestions, please hit me up, I'm always open to them, uh, I love learning about this kind of stuff, and teaching you how to do it, um, so hope you enjoyed this tutorial, uh, you know that I like making these, just for you. Um, so please comment if you have any questions, or you know what? Comment if you have any praise for me. As Mitchell, you are an incredible dubstep producer. You just make amazing dubstep. I want to be like you. Please say that. It'll make my day. It really will. Um, so questions and praise in the comments. No, don't don't be crapping on this video, okay? Comments and praise, or questions. Three, rate. Rate this mother. And four, subscribe. I will be coming out with a bunch of these. I think this is my seventh video in the Logic series. Um, so, and, I, and I come out with these whenever I get some inspiration. Or you have a question. So, there you are. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm out. Peace.